are. Good to see you, Jeffy McBride, Jennifer McBride. Yay! Hi. Hello. <laughs> Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so good to have you. I I was reflecting on this. How long have we known each other? Has it been a while? It has it been has. a while. It has been a while. Um, yeah. It's amazing how we met. I was thinking, how did Heather and I get together? And I, so I was staying at my mom's house, which was not even a half a block from where you lived. And I was at my mom's a lot that last little while for her. And that day I had gone walking the dogs down the river path. Nobody was there but two women walking and they were talking the whole time, walking, talking. And we crossed each other's paths. We all said, hello, you commented about the dogs. It was so fun. Well, that night I had a friend invite me to, I don't know what you called them then, spirit circles. It was yeah. a meditation, okay? Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I'd love to go do that. So mom had already passed. Mm -hmm. And so I went and you were the facilitator. And that was, you were with one of your mentors. And I went, that's how we met. I, you know, you that's can't hook that up. <gasps> you cannot. Oh, that's awesome. And, you know, I, I've probably heard that story before, but at the same time, for some reason, that's just like, it, it's just like dumbfounding to me. Like, you can't make that up. You cannot no, make that up. You can't. I mm -hmm. couldn't have orchestrated. I couldn't have tried to make that happen. You know, it was a mm -hmm. happening. And I think when we say it's a happening, it was totally meant to be. It was guided for sure. Mm -hmm. I love that you share that. I love that you share that. And so I'm curious if you can share with others, gosh, just because our journey has been so long, but what uh, services or classes have you been able to participate in? Okay, so I got to come to a few of your meditations, and I think we were doing them, you were doing them at the Blue House in Pocatello, so I was in Pocatello a lot, and um, so then I jumped on Heighten Your Spiritual Connection. I didn't know about VIP, so that was kind of cool. I was, you know, watching the thread on Heighten Your Spiritual Connection, and that was super cool. Well, I had taken a class, SRT, which is a spiritual response therapy, and you use a pendulum, you use charts, and um, I did like uh, the first part of it, and then I did the advanced part so that I could help others with this SRT. Well, it flipped something in me that um, I was dating a guy and one night we were sitting around a bonfire and I totally channeled his father and had no clue what I was doing, what just happened. And I thought, I need some help. And you came to mind and I went, I have got to get in with Heather. So I scheduled um, a one on one with you. And that mm -hmm. right after we did, yeah, we totally talked about all that you helped explain a lot of things to me. And um, that I joined VIP then. So now VIP. <laughs> so through VIP, um, I have loved every second of VIP because it's so down to earth and it's so grounded. You know, you don't have to be anything. And it was, it's like-minded energy. I And I don't mean I only want to hang out with like-minded people, but there's an energy field that takes place whenever we do weekly things. And I can feel it. It's just this deepest connection. And what a great way to meet people, you know, mostly women, all around our, you know, states. So with the same stuff, we're all going through same or, you know, have maybe just gone through same and somebody else, we're there helping and connecting each other. So yes, I love the courses. Um, so whenever you do them live, I hope to be on live because it's it just works. Your timeline of it always works for me really well. And um, I love the soul essence. I love the... Um, the star children what did what do we call that one oh, yes children. yep you got it mm -hmm. and the old souls course very just so helpful and then I can do them on my own timeline the courses through mm -hmm. VIP and that mm -hmm. is really helpful 
for me. Yeah. Wonderful. Yay. Oh my gosh. Well, just listening to you, I'm just thinking, wow, we really do. First of all, go way back, you know, and then, yes, I do remember that session. And it was so neat to witness you, like, as you got the answers, like, this is what's happening. This is what's happening, you know, and just really witnessing you stepping in, like stepping into your gifts. And I love, 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 love having you in VIP. And I was just thinking about our weekly, you know, lives and that type of thing. And I love that you just shared that about like the energy. We can feel the energy. And just like you said, too, like some of us are going through things or about to go through things or maybe already went through things. And I, what came to mind as you were sharing that was like-minded and like vibration and, you know, spiritual seekers also that as a collective, more than likely, we're probably experiencing different planetary energies like around the same time and can really support each other in that. Like, it's just interesting to me. That's what came to mind when you said that, like some of us are going through things, you know, what do you think of that? I, oh, I, do. I totally, yeah. and it's just, it's, um, it's attractive. I want more and because it helps me help myself you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's group, it's collective, but yet it's, it's helping home um, skills. Yes. I, mm -hmm. you know, that's so helpful. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I love having your energy in, I mean, in there I, on the lives, I'm like, Debbie's here. <laughs> <laughs> <You're so awesome. laughs> so, yay. yay. Well, I love this and I'm, oh, I am excited for the upcoming, um, online retreat so you're gonna join for that right yes. yeah in November so I'm super excited for that I mean it's three days and we just really hone in on your skills and it's interesting for me you sharing about us and our start and being able to see your skills develop and with this three-day online it's all about you and advancing those skills so it's neat because it for some reason talking about that makes it feel like it comes full circle you know what I mean? Um, so I'm yeah. excited for that. That's oh, yeah. That's coming up. So I did mediumship class and then okay. I went on and did it again. I thought so. <laughs> and and you said, I've already done that, but would you like to do it? You even gave me a discount. And I went, no, no, I want to do this again. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. and that part is so accommodating, you know, as well. Uh, you've already mm -hmm. taken it. So, and it was like, yeah, but I'm going to do it again. So <laughs> now awesome. I'm gonna do, yeah, this next one, this, what did we call it? Phase three. I'm really thrilled mm -hmm. about that one. And the timing yeah. is just right. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, yeah. So I'm calling it the advanced online retreat. So that's yeah. that's what, yeah, we're calling it. And that is so funny. I was thinking about that. I'm like, did she take video shit twice? <laughs> and you did. And I love that. I love it too, because I feel like um, we learn. That's how we learn, you know? And there's different courses and whatnot that I'll take again, where I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, you know? Uh, so I love that um, so much. Uh, so I'm just wondering what aspects you know, that you've learned, do you incorporate into your daily life or into, you know, moving into business? Like, what do you incorporate from what we've done together? Um, what do I, I don't even know. I, I guess I had never thought of that. I, I do a nice daily, I don't even know what we'd call it, a ritual, a meditation, a space for myself, you know, things I pulled in from us being together as a group. And um, that's how I start my day every day. And I have such deep gratitude for that. And um, I'm going to attribute it to the VIP, you know, mm -hmm. to, to the mediumship, to, you know, even brain spotting too, as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And Wonderful. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that, I'm glad you said brain spawning because I wanted to segue into that. <laughs> I was yeah. like, oh, good. That's a nice little segue. Well, and I'd love to hear more about that. So you're a brain spawning clinician. I, and I, I would just love to hear your take on it, your journey, uh, how it was taking the training, whatever comes to mind. Okay, I'll, I'll just share what is coming into mind. Um, so I've been to India like three times and... Um, I went and, and we had monks, guides, and it was like 30 day deepening in silence, you know, and basically it was to kind of teach us how to process, 
So that was really interesting um, and helpful, you know, how you take segments to get you where you are today. And it was really wonderful. And I even became a trainer, a oneness trainer, and then I took advanced training. So when I took phase one brain spotting, I went, oh, my gosh this is a 30 day deepening in one session because when you hit that brain spot and you find um that file mm -hmm. you know it took us kind of 30 days to find you know they called them charges what's a charge you know to find that spot where i'm having an issue something's bothering me and so um i went wow how easy or you know, simple is this, it's almost as if consciousness supported all of that to lead to this brain spotting, you know, and, and I think about David Grant, and he probably, you know, that's when then it opened up to the collective of, okay, this is an easier way, we don't have to do a 30 day deepening in order to process our stuff, you know, so I love that. Right. Um, and I'm just beginning. So I practice, practice, practice. I know. Um, so yeah, just wanting a lot, lot, lot more practice because, you know, when you're a clinician and you're helping someone else, it totally helps you. It's mm -hmm. like, it opens things up as well. So it's a win-win for. I love that. Yeah. that. yeah. And are you taking, um, clients? I think we, we talked about this in VIP. Yes, mm -hmm. I've had a couple mm -hmm. of, um, it's it's spotty here and there. It's not super busy, although I'm noticing with summer now that fall's kind of settled in, people are ready to go back onto a schedule as mm -hmm. again now. I'm ready, maybe more so, you know, to have more of a schedule as well as everybody else. So I thought, oh, that's probably how we all are. Awesome. Yeah, trying to get in as much as we could in the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know that you had shared too with VIPs to reach out to you of those who were, were wanting to, to check it out. So I think that's, that's awesome. And that's really wonderful to hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love that you share too, because it is a different sense of consciousness. And we are able to go in and be able to find um, like the access folder of wherever that brain spot is. And, it, you know, uh, this is a, a trauma informed therapy. So just in being able to perhaps release what is no longer necessary. So if we're going to take from that perspective, and also just witnessing that brain spotting can be used for expansion for healing for um, healing meaning like on a quantum level or an energetic level or that type of thing and so there's different times too that I think I've shared in um, different videos and lives that like that right there I'm looking right at my mediumship spot like I know that that's that's my access to go into mediumship so I, I came back real quick because all of a sudden I saw like <laughs> some of your relatives coming in so I was like oh just a second we're gonna come back to Jeffy <laughs> But I think that's that's what's so neat, you know, about it is that it is this access point in and it assists us with shifting that consciousness. So mm -hmm. and, and even holding I love that you had mentioned that, too. You're right. Holding on to where we're unfolding and expanding, you know, these skills that we already had, but we didn't know what how to bring them forward. So, yes, I mm -hmm. love that. You know, and I think quite a few of us right now on the planet are seeking a little, you know, um, a way to get into finding fine tuning skills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I was just um, thinking, actually, this is interesting, uh, just because I know I, we do a lot with spirituality and, and whatnot. This is so interesting that this is coming up. But some of the offerings that I have, like if you are a brain spotting therapist, so those who are watching that are brain spotting, um, I'm teaching a brain spotting and Reiki class coming up. And then also a six to nine month brain spotting and spirituality consultation group. So it's interesting to me, and I'm just kind of processing out loud, is that a lot of the stuff that I've been doing, not that it's separate, but I, I do like Reiki, mediumship, you know, I'm kind of doing that over here. And this is brain spotting. 
now uh, we're, we're crossing the two. So it's kind of neat to see that. And I'm glad that you brought this forward or just this discussion forward. So I'm curious, do you do self-spotting? Like, do you, like you said, in the mornings, like ritual, like um, maybe it's not every day, but do you find a spot like of calm or, or something? I do. Something do? I cool. do. It's really helpful. Yes, mm -hmm. it is helpful. You know, cool. I help me, right, get into my place that I'm desiring to get into a, I'm going, Ooh, I'm here. Now I have a choice. And now when I found that I have a brain spot, that is my calm or my totally connected. And that's giving me the chills. It's, it's great to have that tool and why not use that tool? It was so simple and easy. And I'm so thrilled about the brain spotting and spirituality. Cause to me, they mm. totally, that's, that's really the little vein I would love to travel down more. So I, it's, yeah, it's, and it's fascinating to me. And I, it, I almost feel like uh, it only seemed natural, if that makes sense. Like in VIP, we have the group brain spotting uh, module. And with that, being able to find a spot for your guide or being able to find a spot like for peace, calm, that type of thing to be able to, you know, dive into more of consciousness. And it's neat too. And I'll just throw this out there. And again, I'm kind of processing out loud, I think, but we call it like with brain spotting, um, almost like with, we're both in the field, if that makes sense, we're both in the energetic field. So I'm holding space for you, let's say, and we're in that energetic field and our limbic systems are talking to each other. So different times that it may be like, oh, you just read my mind or that kind of thing. Sure enough, because our limbic systems are talking to each other. You know? <laughs> what a way to connect. I mean, yes. what, if, what if we all connected that way in mm -hmm. life? I right. mean, mm -hmm. yeah, powerful, powerful. Well, and I'm, I'm curious, you know, what your, um, one of the questions that I had posed to you was almost like, your goals or your life mission for what you want to bring to people? Right. Uh, you know, um, just to be there to help people, help us all get out of our own way. Mm. And, and I say that because I could really get in my own way. You know, I'm watching the patterns of my life up to this point. And so, um, when you've kind of helped get to a certain spot, it's easier to help somebody else get to, you know, that same spot. So it's holding space. So my goal would be, you know, to, I'm sure I will be attracting in people who, you know, are probably needing to get there. Or that's one of their goals is to get there. So my goals is just to help people help us all which which helps us all because like you said we're in a field and we're both being helped at the same time because there's this connection and wouldn't that be cool if the whole planet just got connected yes <laughs> yes yes so, well, I'm I'm <laughs> right. Amazing. Um, and i'm finding my dad with dementia mm -hmm. um, i can connect with him on a level that is so different and we communicate it's just and almost even without saying words yeah cool. so that's cool. so that too being you know a goal of helping him on this latter part of whatever however that's going to look for him I love that too. Cause I mean, you're even holding space for him, you know, and being able to be in communication. And even if it isn't um, maybe as coherent as you would want it to be, or in a language that would make sense to others at the same time you are connecting, you know, and just like you said too, wouldn't it be great if we could all connect like that, you know, and you being able to bring that forward for the collective and also for a family member, you know, that this is what is necessary. This is what we need to do right now. And it's, interesting as you talked we might be able to see the replay but there was like a really strong point where all of a sudden everything got super bright like it was just like this bright you know and it was really neat I am trying to remember what exactly you said it was almost like the collectiveness or being able to have that um conversation without without 
talking or without, you know, I mean, we're actually communicating in that way. So I love that because I, you know, Jeffy, I feel like I've known you for a while. I just feel like um, I just witnessed this with you. Like anytime you walk into the room, like there's such light, like you just bring your light <laughs> wherever you go, you know? And so I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You know what, Heather, it's easy around you. I mean, I'm sure there's certain places uh, it's not, I, I don't know. <laughs> I get you, I get you, yeah, I get you. Because mm -hmm. you're totally open, no matter how I show up, you're going to accept me, so it's easier to shine. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I do get that. Mm -hmm. as well, right. Mm -hmm. You know, we have uh, our earth angels. <laughs> wait, wait, no, Judge. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And that energy exchange, you know, so just in witnessing that, because I hope other people are feeling this, like the light that Jeffy and I are, you know, exchanging between each other, which is really yeah. Yeah, awesome. I know. And as we get to watch that with people, we get to go, wow, I felt that. Yeah. Yes, yes. yes. And why not use, you know, what is already inside us intrinsically to be able to help and to be able to heal you know, which feels so good. Yay, Jeffy. Well, I would love to hear if there's any advice that you have for other people on their spiritual and healing path. Hmm, any advice? Um, That's kind of interesting. This morning I was thinking, so yeah, I have a little spot over here. I'm, <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> a little, a little bit, you know, get to say out loud, oh, that was my spot. I could see, you know, through this. So, um, right. Awesome. To tell the truth to yourself about yourself, you know, to mm. not not just what we're supposed to be through our programming, but you know what's truly there because nothing's wrong, nothing's bad. It, we just are what we are, and you know we're doing what we're supposed to be doing because that's what we're doing. Um, I love that. Yeah. And I love that because we're just going to show up as who we are and the truth of who we are. And just like you said, beyond the programming, just being authentic, being our, our authentic self as best we possibly, possibly can, you know, and I think it's tricky because I feel like as people have a spiritual awakening or they're realizing they're a healer or that type of thing, it's hard because sometimes we feel different where it's almost just like, wait a minute, who am I? What am I doing? And so with that, it's almost like helping for, as you're sharing this, like almost like giving people advice, like just, just be you. You're going to, you're going to, and I feel too, this just feels like a work in progress or like lifetime of almost like we just keep coming back to ourselves or to the truth of ourself. We just keep coming back to that. You right. Know? Right. Mm -hmm. And witnessing, oh, you could see that program, but it isn't I don't have to be that. I see the program and I see what the pattern is or was, but, you know, but, and there again, not judging myself about it. So yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Just is what it is. Okay. I see it. Awareness, you know, <laughs> unconditional, here we go. We're going to, we're going to be able to adapt or shift or do whatever we need to do to help you through this, help myself through this, you know, so uh -huh. Each yeah. other, right? Yeah. Holding holding space for each other as we maneuver this mm -hmm. path on this planet in this lifetime. That's beautiful. That's exactly it. <laughs> and it's no small feat, but at the same time, just do what you can do. Um, but I, I'd love to hear too um, how people can get in touch with you. Do oh, you email or. Yeah. yeah. How can people get in touch with me? Well, I, I could, I have an email address. Do you want me okay. to say? My yeah, email? go for it. Go for it, my dear. Okay. It's Jeffy McBride, J-E-F-F-I-E-M-C-B-R-I-D-E at gmail.com. And, or I'm on Facebook. Um, get a hold of me that way. Uh, I, my telephone number, if you if you would feel okay doing it <laughs> yeah she's like sure call me <laughs> hey, I think in that that was a good buzz morning buzz thank you you got it. okay yes got you yep uh my phone number 208-380-5659 and I live in Boise Idaho so anybody who's close by I'd love to see everybody in person but I also love technology so yeah, yeah, that we can go there as well, which yeah, feels good. And it's amazing that we can connect 
on that level, like with people, just like you said, with VIP, almost like people from all over and we're all right there together in that moment, you know? So I love that. And I'd love to, that you share yourself and just wanting to be that open vessel in order to assist other people to be able to heal. And just like you said earlier too, like if you've already been there, it's mm -hmm. almost like then you know how to get through that, how to navigate that, whatever it is, and mm -hmm. then helping others to do the same. So Absolutely. I love that you share that. Yeah, Absolutely. that feels good. Oh, well, Jeffy, thank you. That was thank wonderful. You. Thank it's you. Yeah. yeah. Really I feel good. to say a prayer if that's okay. Does that feel oh, okay? I love it. You. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Father, Mother, God, thank you so much for allowing for this beautiful soul before me my path across. Please allow her to be able to walk forward with confidence, with ease. Allow her to know that as she moves forward, that all things are falling into place. Allow her to know that all doors of opportunity are opening. Allow her to feel the fruits of her labor. Allow her to be able to really see all that she's been able to do for others, for herself, and allow this all to come in beauty and light back to her tenfold. Allow for her to know that there truly is more to come and that she has so much support from spirit side and from earth side we ask all of us in the highest light and love and blessings of all amen Ooh. get a girl get a get a girl thank you yeah Mwah. i'm so glad awesome have a good night we'll talk to you soon take care right. bye everybody bye. see you